Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of Pat T's Performance. Today is a good day. It's a beautiful day. Um, I've been holding back for this old week war. I did feature it on a two other YouTubers' channels. So if you want, check it out. Ken Small Engine Repair and Lucky Mud Mower 7. I've also been in conversation with Mick Mowers and Henriette over at Mowers and Blowers over this machine because this thing is amazing. I promised you guys, well, I promise, I promised myself that I would make more space and I would want to take on commercial equipment just because it's just a little bit uh, change of pace and obviously more money. Now, don't laugh. I wasn't supposed to buy this. I know I need another snowblower, like I need another hole in my head, but I cannot stop buying. It's bad. I didn't even look. It just popped up. I promise. No, I really did. I, I, I promise you, I was not looking at snowblowers. Okay? I, I, But, somehow, someway, it popped up for sale, and it was just like the one I sold, my wife and I went, this is Pat Tay's equipment, that we had to deliver. I found the same exact one, with tire chains on it, beautiful chains, shape, for steel of a deal. And I'm not saying anything, it was maybe I'll still buy it. <laughs> So anyway, I locked in a price, I locked in a deal with him, and I go to his house, and I know it's the wrong thing to do, because when I used to sell the house, I didn't like when people did it to me. My eyes are always wandering. My intentions are different than maybe what most people are. Let's see what else is for sale. Well, guess what I saw? This brand the gym. So my attention. Maybe got a little crap. So yeah, this caught my attention. And I asked him it was for sale. And he said no because it doesn't run. <gasps> That's my favorite thing to hear. So we transitioned from the snowblower to this. And let me take you out of the camera. Let me take you out of the stand. This is a Billy Goat Force 13. Oh, I'm sorry, 13 Force by Billy Goat. This is like a $2,500 machine, maybe even more. Has a 13 horsepower Honda. I originally thought. It was self-propelled, but it is not. Check this out. Watch this. Whoop, whoop. Hit the handle. Okay. So this is Lucy Goosey. So I'll take care of that. Simple vice grip. Now this is a little worn, so I'm probably going to conceal this in wire loom wrap. There is an attachment that goes here that's missing. I'm tempted to leave it or take it off. I'm not sure yet. It doesn't run. Which is a good thing because look, the muffler shield has broken off and it got so hot from running it like this, it melted the housing. And All right, so I got you guys out of the stand. This is a 13 force by Billy Goat. This is one of the newest blowers out there. And this retails for, I think, anywhere from like 22 to 25 to 3 grand. Now, I know of these, and originally I thought this was self propelled and it wasn't working. Check this out. Oh, yeah. An adjustable nozzle, pneumatic tires. This is solid up front, it is not a swivel. Right off the bat, okay, it's 13 horsepower Honda. 
This is a non-Hemi, because we know, because my Arians has a Hemi on it. It's supercharged, whatever. We cannot supercharge this. It's already supercharged. But the muffler shroud is missing. The heat shield is missing. Because they ran it for so long, it melted the plastic, but it's still solid. And the intake, and that's that. This is your throttle. It's a little whatever. I guess you gotta take care of that. Um, it doesn't run. Oh, and it's missing this. So I looked this up. There's like a piece that goes here. It's like a hundred bucks. I'm not gonna bother with it. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna take this off. I'm gonna leave it here and just say, oh, you put your garbage bag in here and whatever. So anyway, the story behind this was that he had his crew do a tune-up on it and it never worked ever again and he parked it on the side he stopped doing his business and he wanted to fix it up before he sold it and uh, he hasn't been able to fix it up and he doesn't want to sell it to me not run it so after some negotiations I paid a hundred bucks and they left the snowblower so I guess it's a good thing right I got, I got a blower just a different one he wasn't too happy, but it is what it is. So, what I don't understand, right, is this isn't a very expensive machine. I know it doesn't look the greatest, right? But if this if this was running before your guys touched it, why not look at it? Whatever. Who knows? Let's see if he's telling the truth. I mean, I pulled on it. It has compression. I know it doesn't run, right? So, I just did, you know, a quick a quick, you know, check over on it, you know, not while he was, you know, there, because I just don't want to give anything away, so I'm just checking the oil, okay, and that is, it's full and it's black, so what the hell kind of tune-up did you do? That oil is black, and I just leaked it on my job. On switch. Now, he said he put fresh fuel in here. The fuel is not old. So, let's see what we got. Tank is full. Looks good in there. Smells delicious. So, let's dig further. Now, the reason why I'm not doing my usual triage is because he said it ran before and after his guys touched it, they didn't run again. So I'm just taking a quick peek and I don't see anything out of the normal. Right? But it's just like my Predator, which is a Hemi 420cc. This is our Fuel. No, this is fuel. This is chunks. We had the fuel on. This is. Oh, yeah, it's our throttle. So this is why I don't you never go that way. So, oh, look, someone's been in the carburetor. Or maybe we just got some damage from being used. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Can you guys see that? It's got a little nick here. Spark plug looks whatever. So let's let's start with spark. Let's start with spark. Let's start with spark. Nah, that doesn't rhyme. In my head, it rhymes. And it didn't. Yeah, whatever. It just didn't say. So let's get in here. Because maybe he has crappy workers and they just got paid to do nothing or he's a liar. I don't know. Okay, so your Honda spark plug is typically 1316s. Uh, that was actually a little loose. 
That was, that was like no effort. So let's take a look at this. What the heck? What is a tune-up to you people? See, I'm doing this nice and easy. You don't want to strip nothing out. Spark plug. It's a little dirty. NGKR BPR5ES. This was a little loose. So that's just an electrode. <laughs> oh my god. Check this out. Can you guys see that? Can you guys see that? There is no gap. Or very little in the spark plug. So, and again, for something that's been too up, it doesn't make any sense. It just, it just doesn't make any sense. So Honda should be between 0.25 and 0.30. So let's open this up. Oh my god! Actually, there's a like no the hell these guys do? Maybe they took it out. They, they didn't clean it because it still looks dirty. No, that's way, that's too much. So I'm just checking it. Yeah, that's way too much. 0.25 Yeah, that's still Okay, 0.25 0.30 working out of my other toolbox. Um, maybe I'll go back in and do NICs later. Let's, let's try this out. Now, I wonder what this air filter looks like. Let's dive, let's dive deeper into this. Nice. Stick that in there. And then let's. What do you think this air filter looks like? Stop it. Stop it. This is a pre filter. They never look like this. Tell me that their idea of a tune up was just. A new air filter? Jesus, man, what's wrong with them? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so now the question is Will it run? Well, before we do so, right, let's throw a little magic in there. A little bit of sea foam, and we're gonna give this thing a go. Now this is a big tank, right? I'm just gonna put two capsules in there. I only put one in for a lawnmower, so I went out. Oh my god. Okay, we left, we had this on. On. A few 
fuel on, choke all the way. Uh-oh. Because I, I don't no, because you didn't have any snow, I didn't use my snowblower. What is full? What is choke? No. Hold on. Let me just do this. Okay, so forward. No. So back is full throttle. Let's do it halfway. Just, who knows how long this was sitting. <laughs> get my Googles on. Actually, not my Googles. Well, I'm getting at my Googles. My Googles have earplugs, guys. I'm preparing for the worst. Well, we're, we're hoping for the worst, but preparing for the worst that this thing is going to run and be loud as anything. Eyes and ears, baby. They got built-in uh, plug holders. These are awesome. Maybe I'll do a giveaway on these. All right. My snowblower doesn't even start this easy. Remember, we can't run it too long because of... Okay. Well, we know it's powerful enough to just glue the stand over. But... Let's try something. This thing kicks butt, but now I can't run it too long. How does this feel? It's not, it's okay, but we're going to, 
now that I know this runs, I got to get a new muffler because this is looks like maybe they tried welding it because there's two screws, two heel, well, two, four, maybe two or four. On mine, it's four, four, and two. It's missing the diverter for the muffler, so I'm gonna have to see if I can get a muffler with a heat shield and a new air filter box cover if the price is uh is right. But once those parts come in. Then, I will show you how you should tune up your 13 horsepower Honda or your Billy Goat Leaf Blower. A tune up is just not a new filter and pre filter. I mean, that's crazy. That oil is black, 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 black. But, this is freaking awesome. You know what? This would complement my Billy Goat Leaf vacuum, but I can't keep both unfortunately because it's they just kind of contradict each other. You know, the Billy Goat I used to suck up and clean up, I usually don't blow stuff into the street, but for demonstration purposes, we will. I mean, look what I have here for a front yard. I mean, you guys know my V log and everything. I have more driveway than front yard, which is fine because I have more cars than the normal people. So anyway, um, winner, 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 chicken dinner, reseller life, flip and fix life. Remember, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, and guess what? We won. So, Mrs. Pat Tay, take that. If you guys found this video helpful, smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, and guess what? I'll see you guys on the next episode of Pat Tay's Performance. And don't forget. We go live every Saturday, 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. Eastern Time. It's supposed to be an hour long, but if you guys want to chat it up like a bunch of yentas, that's on you, not me. Later.